Today, we are talking about cowboy boots that are made in America. So, I'm just talking about the ones that are now available in the year 2020. Of course, Jay Chisholm, these red ones right here, of course, Jay Chisholm was made in the United States as well, but they went out of business and there are several other brands of cowboy boots that have gone out of business from the heyday in the 80s. But there are several around still and actually several that have started up since then. Cowboy boots were made in the United States in around the mid 1800s. And as time went on, especially in the 19 90s and the early 2000s boot manufacturing started going to Mexico and overseas to China and India and Vietnam but there's still many companies right here in the US and today I will talk about 12 options for cowboy boots that you have right here in the United States of America so let's get into it So first I want to say that anything made in America is usually a bit more expensive just because the people who make things here have to focus on a higher standard most of the time um, because there are so many more inexpensive options that are coming from Mexico and China and India. So, and we also have to focus on a higher standard in order to make enough for life here so usually when things say made in America it means they have a higher quality of standard like a higher quality altogether usually and that usually comes with a higher price tag okay still there are American made options for boots at nearly every price point that can pretty much compete with the boots that are coming out of China so I'm going to start out with options on the lower end with two brands making boots right here in the United States in the state of Pennsylvania. Abilene Boots. Now, Abilene Boots ranges from around like 140 to 250 price range and that's a great low budget options that are made in the US. They do cut corners though, for sure. And you would have to cut corners if you're gonna be making a $150 boot in the United States. Sometimes it's tough to find them with a leather lining. Most times they have a cloth lining and they get kind of warm. And it's tough to find them with a leather stacked heel too. Sometimes it's plastic, sometimes it's wood. Still, I like them better than the China made boots because they're in the same price range and they pretty much have a good year welt on all the boots. So you can get them resold. A lot of boots in that price range are all cement construction. Abilene boots are not. So if you're looking for a US made boot to get you into boots in the first place, Abilene is the way to go. I had a pair of Abilene boots for eight years. They were great. And the only reason that I had to get rid of them was because the cobbler messed up the resole. So moving on to the next American brand in the lower end of a budget, also made in Pennsylvania, is Double H. Now you gotta make sure that Double H is made in America because they do have some, some boots coming out of China, but for the most part, most of their boots are made right here in the US. And that's pretty much what I'm covering today. I'm covering the majority of a company's line is made in the boot in the US. So, of course, yes, Justin, Nakona, Ariat, like some of these big brands do have some boots that are made in the US, but for the most part, they're made outside of the country. Double H, most of their boots are made right here in the US, and prices range from around $200 to $300. They make a lot of work boots, some dress boots, um, and they're actually not too far away from the Abilene factory in Pennsylvania. Uh, as with Abilene, they do cut some corners in production to keep those costs low in order to compete with China and some of the brands coming out of Mexico. 
often choosing a composite heel instead of a leather stacked heel. And they also use a machine lasting technique to put the boot on, which means it might get a little bit floppy as it breaks in. But for the most part, they do have some great options and even be widths. This picture right here is of the Dylan, and I actually checked that boot out at Davis Trailer World about a year ago. Huge fan of that boot. I can't wait to actually add it to my collection because they do be widths and I love that. And they also have lots of steel toe options and are used by many essential workers. Now, the next five companies that I'm going to mention that are made in the US are related by either the same parent company or people broke off to start, they're all related. Like these are old companies or at least the core of them are old companies and then some broke off to start new companies. So I might make a video about that in the future but I just want you to know that these next five are related. And the first is Anderson Bean. Now they have lots of different options at different price ranges. On the low end, they have their horsepower line, which they say they created because companies were producing similar designs as their Anderson Bean Boots, but were selling them cheaper so that they just did it anyways and called them the horsepower line. So if you see a horsepower boot that's a brand, um, that's actually under Anderson Bean and is pretty much just a cheaper version of an Anderson Bean boot to my understanding. Then they have their regular Anderson Bean boots, which are pretty much all wide square toe with a double stitch welt and low roper heels. They all look like this. They all look like that pretty much, which I would like to see them do more toe styles, but I haven't tried this company yet and I can't wait till I have the opportunity. They do lots of exotics and they sell between like $300 and $600 for the most part. Next up is Olathe. Now this is a really old cowboy boot company that has been operating since 1875 and they make true cowboy boots in many different styles. And I say true cowboy boots because it's leather leather. They make tall boots, lots of square toe boots, but also with the single welt stitch and lots of options for heels too. And I mean, just look at that spur shelf too. Huge traditional boots through and through and they run between like 250 to 500 plus. Next up is Rios of Mercedes. Here is the, maybe the oldest, one of the oldest companies in the US here making cowboy boots. They've been making boots since 1853. 1853. Jeez, that's crazy, right? And their stock boots do have a removable cushioned insole now, so they're not super traditionally made anymore. Although if you did order them special, you could I'm sure get them with the hard leather insole, but they do have the removable cushion insole on their stocks. Uh, but for the most part, they are all leather and some do have that hybrid outsole, which means they have the leather um, on the top and the bottom. And then they do have the rubber right in the middle where your ball of the foot lands on the ground and where most of the wear for a leather outsole is going to take place. These range from around 400 to $800 plus, depending on the leather. Next up is Lucasi. You guys know Lucasi, another classic brand with lots of history and one of the most well-known higher-end brands in cowboy boots. Now, most of their boots are made in the U.S., but some are now also made in Mexico as well. And they do a traditional cowboy boot that fits great, but sometimes I feel like they're overpriced for what they are. And it's the main reason why I don't have any Lucases today is because I found other boots that are similar quality that just fit better at a cheaper price. 
Uh, but I imagine at some point I will own a pair of Lucchese when I find the right pair for me. And there's lots of different options, which range from $350 to $1,000 plus, depending on the make and model. And I wanna do a quick little ad here because if you're thinking about getting Lucchese, you can get them for 10% off all of the time at yeehawcowboy.com with my promo code JCM10 at checkout. Now, 10% off Lou Casey boots is huge, and yeehawcowboy.com just added a bunch. They just got a contract with Lou Casey, so this just happened. If you had Lou Casey's on your wish list, you can now get them straight from yeehawcowboy.com and at 10% off when you use my code. All right, add over. The next company is Blackjack Boots. Now, this is a newer company in the grand scheme of things. I mean, they started in the 90s, in 1996, and they make really high quality boots ranging from around $400 to $1,000 plus. Okay, so these next few boots are known for making stock boots, like off the shelf boots, and also will do custom boots. So they'll make them for retailers to sell in stores, indie stores, boot barns, or they'll make them specifically for you if you put in your order with a retailer or with them specifically. So the first that I have here is Honcho Boots, Honcho. This is a much smaller and lesser known brand, which is also newer. They started in 1999, making custom boots and special order styles for some retail stores. Uh, Pocosa Creek Outfitters just got a contract with Honcho Boots. So if you're interested in seeing some of what Pocosa Creek is offering in their newly acquired deal with Honcho, uh, definitely go to PicosaCreekOutfitters.com and see what they're doing. Uh, they are made the old way, traditional, traditional cowboy boots, and you will have to talk with your retailer about pricing. Next up is Rocket Buster Boots. Now, this is probably the flashiest company on this list. Rocket Buster is known for their elaborate designs hand tooling, inlay, overlay, and more. It's crazy what they can do. If you haven't followed Rocket Buster on any of the social media to see what they do, it's nuts. I mean, each and every boot that they make is just like a piece of art, and you're looking at this thing going, how did they do that? Uh, and they deal with special order and custom boots if you're looking for a US-made boot that will stand out. And stand out, you will. Rocket Buster has got to be on your list if you're looking to stand out. Uh, next up here is a BNV Boots. They make some boots for retailers, and they're kind of hard to find. They're the hardest to find information about on this list, um, and they can only be contacted by email or phone. So you got to email bnvboots at gmail.com. They got great prices for special order boots. You can just let owner Jose Chavez know your size and specifics and he'll build you a boot. Uh, price will always depend on your specifics. Next up and the last on the list here is Beck's Boots. Beck Boots, they're on the lower side of the price scale with special order boots and the boots that they have in stock ready to go. They start at $400. Now, the cool thing about Beck boots is that they have pretty much every size that you can imagine. So if you go on there uh, and you go to the men's section, they have a 10 and a half A boot, A, which is super narrow. So if you have a narrow foot and you've been having a lot of trouble finding a boot that actually fits, uh, Beck is kind of a good way to go on the lower end of a budget because they start at 400 bucks for their stock and it's kind of impressive they have hundreds of sizes of boots available hundreds of sizes so 
it may be a good budget option, but they do have a pretty blocky look. Like they have a style, super blocky. And I also hear that they don't crimp their leather, uh, which is similar to the problem that happens with machine lasted boots is that they don't really stretch the leather to its full capacity, which means the boots might break in sloppy. I've just heard this. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but I do want to do a video about Beck boots sometime in the future to have my own experience. But this is just something that I heard about through the grapevine. But still, the fact that they are doing so many different widths means they care. And I appreciate that. So definitely somewhere to look if you're having trouble trying to find a good fitting boot. And then, of course, there is the Custom Boot Makers everywhere in the United States. This is the 12th option for you. There are custom boot makers everywhere in the United States, from Massachusetts to Texas to New Mexico to Arizona to California. There are custom boot makers, and some of their prices can start from uh, just under $1,000, and then some of them over ten thousand dollars so you really have your pick but if you're looking at getting some of these u.s made boots from lucasi or blackjack and you have like a couple thousand dollars to spend on them you could also get a pair that fits perfect that is made for you specifically with your specifications with one of these smaller custom boot makers and i interview them regularly so if you check out the channel and you just search Ask the Bootmaker. You will find several custom bootmakers right here in the U.S. who will be happy to make you a pair of boots. And like I said, I've talked to um, I've talked to people like uh, Dustin Lau in Texas, and I believe his prices start in the low thousands. Um, and I know I want to say like thirteen hundred. And then I've talked to people like Lisa Sorrell and her boots start at $10,000. So it really ranges. Um, just be sure to keep track of the Ask the Bootmaker series. And that's all I got for the boots that are made in the United States. Do you have any more? I just wanted to celebrate the 4th of July with this little patriotic segment supporting the boot makers and boot brands who keep things here at home. You got to respect it because it's tough trying to compete with Mexico and China. Who would I miss? Who would I miss? Let me know. Tony Llamas are made in America, but huge but here. They have moved a lot of production to Mexico. Nikona's used to be made in USA. Yep, and I do have a pair of USA uh, USA Nikonas, they're great. The ones made in Mexico are just... I feel like sometimes the boots that are made in Mexico, so many factories are making boots for so many different companies at the same time, it feels like there's just some less passion there sometimes. So, sometimes with the, with the what was it, Nikona and the Tony Lama boots that are coming out of Mexico, they're just sort of... Mm, they don't really do it for me. I'm not getting the spiritual experience that I got from like the ones that are made in the US. You feel me? A few Tony Lamas in China too. Yeah, the uh, Chinese, I was talking with Lance from Beth West uh, about a year and a half ago. And he said that China has the Gore-Tex waterproof technology. So any of the waterproof boots that you get from Justin, Ariat, Tony Lama, um, Nakona, any of the waterproof, like real waterproof work boots, they're coming from China because they got that technology. And of course, we don't, we don't steal, we don't steal their um, trademarks and copyrights like they do ours. <laughs> we have honor. <laughs> Just picking on you. <laughs> if you're looking for American grade. You just heard all the American made So when it's time for you to get paid You can get them boots American made, yeah 
Let me know if I missed any. I know Tony Lama and Nakona and Justin all do have boots made in the U.S. But I wanted to pick brands that were mainly made here in the U.S. And don't have a lot of boots coming from Mexico or China, too. Yeah.